Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have two Grail knives right now to share with you guys and gals. It's two different versions of a knife that I've wanted for a long time. I've got to check them out, and now you're going to see, are they still my Grail? And all that's going to start right now. This is the Vero Axon. <laughs> yeah, it's right there, in person, in the flesh, no, actually, in the titanium, in the M390 blade steel. <laughs> yeah. Would you look at it? Just look at it in all of its beauty. Full titanium backspacer, titanium clip that's milled. It's super strong. It's very snappy. It stays in your pocket. It's not going to come flying out. This is a frame lock and it has a steel lit lock bar insert. And look at this side. You just have this screw right here and then your pivot. That's the only thing that is showing at all. Look how clean this is. It's pow, pow, pow. It is so clean. Speaking of pow, Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, yeah. Look at the blade. I mean, I just want to keep saying it. Would you observe the blade and its beautiful lines? Now, even though I'm enamored by the look of this knife, I'm still trying to be objective about the whole knife in general. Now, overall, it's 8.1 inches long. Closed length, it's 4.51 inches. It has a 3.25 inch cutting edge, and it's M390 blade steel. Your blade stock is 138 thousandths of an inch, and then behind the edge, it's 19 thousandths of an inch. This version weighs in at 4.37 ounces, so it's not super heavy. It's right around the 4.3 ounce mark, which is not too shabby. And yeah, look at that. We have a Vero in the hive, ladies and gentlemen, and it does have some good jimping. It's grabby. It does a good job. We'll hear about that more here in just a second. You have a couple different deployment methods. I can show you at least three. I see one, two, three, about four different deployment methods. I'll show you that here in just a second. And this blade, the finish is spectacular. It is a very nice DLC coating. The DLC coatings work very well. It's a lot different than the PVD. This stuff wears exceptionally. And just going down the line so you can get a good look at this beast. I mean, it's not, it's a beast, but it's not a beast. It just looks so strong because of the design of this sheep's foot, but it's kind of an abrupt sheep's foot. So you still have the ability to do some piercing. But here's going down this side. Oh, it looks so nice. Here's what it looks like going in and out of the pocket. You can see that it once it's in there, it stays, and you have to literally pull it out. So you're not going to risk losing this out of your pocket. Nothing in the middle, no, no mushrooms growing in the shade, no screws. It's very sleek, very smooth, plenty of room to wear it in your jeans. Now, the lockup on this version is good. You have a nice, solid lockup, and then the centering is very good, which I would expect nothing less for the price point that the Axon goes for. And I do consider this a grail knife territory, especially for my budget. But so anybody that's looking and you really want to make your decision, I'm going to try to help you out with the size and everything I can do vi via video. Here's the QSP Penguin and here's the Kaiser Titanium October. So that right there, if you have one of these, or if you've seen my video on any of these comparison knives, you can see other knives that may be in the cheaper category that are, I've compared with these to get a really good idea for the size. And I'll tell you the size of my hand here in just a second. Here's the Kaiser Towser K. And here's the concept of Main Street. I tried to get some in, in the general size category. And I have two more here, I think, that really help narrow it down. Here is the Devo Stout. <laughs> oh, yeah. And last but not least, the QSP Penguin Plus. That's the big boy. Now, I think the Qu Penguin Plus is the closest I have that it's really going to give you an idea of the size. Now, my camera is at a slight angle, so it's going to make, it's going to skew it just a tad, but this is very close. And like I said earlier, there are seven different versions. You could get the stone wash, the satin. You get to choose. You could choose back and forth. Um, I would go check out the site just to see all the options you have. Now, as far as deployment, it is a front flipper, first of all, and it comes out very nicely. This one, this is the frame lock. It has a nice smooth drop on it. It's a, almost a control drop. You just just start the motion, and it's like... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know my, I know where my home is. So reverse flicking it like this is very easy. It has a very nice fuller. I personally wouldn't mind if this fuller was a little more aggressive just to make sure because I have slipped a couple times when I wasn't fully committed to that fuller. Other than that, I do like it. And you can also use your thumb to open it. You just have to keep in mind not to have any pressure on the lock bar. So I hold it down here if I want to open it with my thumb and then I don't have any issues. And this is also a good one to do the slow roll. Maybe I'm going to open a ta tactical bag of Cheetos or a tactical box of Twinkies um, or Pop-Tarts or, you know, you tell me what's your favorite snack. And 
Oh, it is it is really nice. The action is superb. It feels super smooth. This is also one I like to do the index flip with. I found while I was driving down the road. This is one of my favorites. Just to put your index finger over there and just roll it over the top. The, it, it's very satisfying. Now, I'm going to tell you what. These run around the 300 mark into the mid 300s. Um, You'll, ha you'll have to go check them out because there's so many different variations. But speaking of variations, let me show you this next one. And before I do, a big shout out to channel member Danny Sims for letting me borrow this and check this out. Everybody go check out Danny Sims on Instagram. It's Danny Sims ABI. And I will put a link in the description of this video in the comments where you can go find him out on Instagram and check out all his sweet posts. And speaking of awesome channel members, this is the Vero Axon liner lock <laughs> oh yeah this was sent to the channel to check out by none other than terry t-rex and if you haven't heard of terry t-rex i will put a link in the description for his instagram you could go check out terry he is a subscriber also and also a channel member and they knew that i wanted to check out the axon and now i have my opportunity now look at this micarta it, oh yeah, it feels so good. I mean, this is the quality that we see from the really nice micarta from Kaiser. It is that it has that real nice textured feel. It feels really good in the hand. And then your blade, oh yeah, same blade, looks fantastic. I think the looks of this micarta, and you know me, I am a sucker for micarta, so it looks so nice. And then there's there's like five different versions you can get for the blade, and five different versions I at least. For the liner lock. Now here's your liner lock. The it has about I'd say about a 20% lock up. It's not as far as I had expected. And then now I don't know if this one's been taken apart or not. Um, as far as centering, it looks like it's just about centered. It could be maybe a micromillimeter towards the clip side, but that is really nitpicking. The action on this one, oh my goodness, this one is a little more drop shutty, and that could be because it's been used more or because it's a liner lock. One of the two. But it dro does drop shut very nicely. It, fu it front flips open very nicely. It's so smooth. Um, now, my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And it fits very nicely. There are no hot spots. I have a very good purchase on the handle. It feels very nice. And you don't have a flipper up in here in the way. So you can get up here close. If you really want to get in it to win it. And you want to do some pull cuts. Or you do have this hump where you can get back here. And then lock in on the jimping. And do some push cuts. Now you know me. I mean, you know what I'm going to say. Give me two more jimps and make it a little more aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> do I ever not say that? Well, yeah, sometimes I do, but I wouldn't mind a tad more aggression on there, but it, it is really nice. I just don't have the jimping out here like I prefer. It does stop about halfway at my thumb. There's a nitpick. See, I found one. And another nitpick, um, I would say give me a little bit more of a sharpening choil. I mean, you do have room, room from the plunge grind to the heel right here, but I'm always game. I like to see a really nice sharpening choil, especially when you're, you're paying top dollar. But I don't really have any serious complaints about it. Now, one thing that folks might might find as a complaint is the the no reversibility on your pocket clips. But but Vero does make left-handed versions, so you can get one specifically for your left handies, which is a oh, very nice, very very nice. So here is the micarta version, and then here is the titanium version. I hope you enjoyed checking these out, and hopefully I didn't forget something just because I'm so enamored by this knife. Now the question is, do I still want one, Is it, and is it still my grail knife? The answer is yes, I do still want one. The question is, do I want the titanium or do I want the micarta with the liner lock? And I'm curious, I want to see what your vote is on which one I should have as my grail. So... I hope you enjoyed this a lot. Go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you in the chats or in the live streams or at the Hive stream every Friday night, remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.